guys! Today we decided to craft something yummy! We're going to make a cake! Shaped like a giant M&M &M candy, just like me! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Since you've already prepared lots of chocolate ganache, we'll bake the cake now. We need two identical metal bowls. This will help make our cake even. Take a big bowl which can fit everything. Let's start with flour. And sugar. And room temperature butter. After that, just add water. Unsweetened cocoa. Eggs. And vegetable oil. To make the cake layers fluffy and flavored, I'm adding baking powder and vanilla. You can find the ingredient list with all the proportions in the description of this video. Mix the ingredients really well. This way. So the dough is ready. Now we need to divide it into two equal parts. Let's put them in the oven! Oh, there's a note from Sam. Where is he, by the way? I was here the whole time, Sue. I came up with a brilliant idea. Let's make a- oh, Hold on, Sammy. Heat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Bake the cake for about 35 to 40 minutes. Continue, Sam. What's your brilliant idea? Let's make a piñata cake. Ooh, and we'll put these candies inside, right? If you can make it, you won't just be a master, you'll be a genius supermaster! Wow. I'll do my best to get this title. <laughs> Sammy, what a great smell! Holy cannoli! These are holy cakes! Now take them out of the bowls. And cut both of them in half. They just cool to room temperature. Oh, Sue, this smell is just unbelievable! You can thank the vanilla extract and cocoa. Thank you, vanilla and cocoa, for this awesome smell. Actually, there's a whole world of smells. Ah, <sighs> for example, the smell of baking creates cozy and warm atmosphere. I'd like to feel the Christmas atmosphere! Oh, easy peasy. Here's a life hack. Just heat Christmas spices in a pot. You can use cinnamon sticks, cloves, ginger, cardamom, mint. You can add vanilla for sweetness or, ooh, even some fir branches and fir cones. What if I need to shake it up? <laughs> well, then the smell of cucumbers or fresh greens can help you. By the way, we're done with the base of the cake. It's gonna be so cool! I need these bowls again. And lots of chocolate, am I right? Yep, you are right. Yay! Are these stones or some other inedible thing? Nope, this is something yummy. It's chocolate, but we need it in liquid form. Add some magic. Well, well, what now? Now we're going to make a chocolate cover for our future cake. Watch closely. We're going to make a chocolate bowl. Now spread the chocolate on the walls. You should do it both quickly and carefully. This way. How can I help you? Well, you can do the same with the second bowl. Yes, sir! Uh, I mean, ma'am! <laughs> Sam's always full of enthusiasm when it comes to chocolate. Anyway, let's put the bowls into the fridge. Meanwhile, we can have tea or make a sandwich. Just in time! Someone said sandwich! Is it time for lunch? Yes, let's take a break. And wait until the chocolate sets. Look! The chocolate is ready! But we need one more layer of chocolate. Sammy, I've got an important task for you. It's about chocolate. I'm here! Where's the chocolate? Here, can you make the second layer? I'll do it before you know it! In the meantime, I'm going to need to heat the frying pan. Why? I'm gonna tell you later! Oh, I've got a feeling something magical is gonna happen! No magic, just culinary art. By the way, I learned what the chocolate master's called. And? Chocolatier! It's a French word, mon chéri. Oh, check out what Sue the chocolatier can do. We'll carefully place the hot frying pan right on the chocolate. Uh-oh, Sue, it'll melt! 
world. <laughs> what are you doing? Everything's under control, Sammy. The hot pan melts the chocolate shape, smoothing its edges. It'll help us connect the two halves easily. Cool. Hooray! We can finally use my ganache. Sue, tell us how chocolate is made. Well, first of all, make sure your ganache is not too hot. It must be room temperature. Otherwise, the ganache can melt our chocolate shape. Otherwise, you'll get a hole in your cake. <laughs> Let me tell you how chocolate is made. The easiest way is mixing three ingredients. Cocoa powder, cocoa butter, and sugar. That's pretty much all. Is it the same for white chocolate? Oh, no. You don't need cocoa powder for making white chocolate. Anyway, if you want to make a chocolate bar at home, you'll not only need these ingredients, but also a very accurate thermometer. Otherwise, the chocolate will melt in your hands. You see, chocolatiers heat and cool the future chocolate bar several times, trying to reach the perfect consistency. Shiver me cheddars, it's so complicated. Yeah, but nowadays this procedure is made by machines in factories. There's a chocolate factory in TV Dabo too. I'm the manager. Oh, did you make a hole? Is that for candies? For my candies? Oh, is this for me? Can I eat these cake leftovers? Uh, no, no, sweet tooth, it's for the cake. Let's put one more layer of the cake. And cover it with ganache to make the layers stick together. This way. I'm gonna find the candies for the filling. My mouth is watering. Yes, it's time to fill that secret part in the middle of the cake. Don't forget to cool the ganache a little. To prevent M&Ms falling out of the cake, we need a cover. So I'm gonna make a small chocolate disc. Carefully pour the melted chocolate in the center of the cooking sheet. And spread it, forming a circle. This way. We need to make the disc smooth and flat. Now let's put it in the fridge to set. The tanks are filled! Time to seal the hatches! Let's apply some ganache here to make the disc stick really well. Be careful. Try not to stain the candies in the middle. Now set the chocolate disc here. Right in the center. I got a surprise for you, Sue. Oh, I hope it's not a... No, 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 no pranks this time. I've learned the lesson. Oh, are you sure? Oh well, I really want to believe. Voila! The cake is teleported to the fridge, just for five minutes. Ta-da! And the cake is back. All right, let's put these two parts together. Apply melted chocolate on the edge of one half of the cake using a piping bag. Be very careful. Now comes the big moment, guys. The connecting. Kapow! Oh, it worked! <laughs> what an awesome candy! Two. I have something for ya. This is a new letter for the master. It's edible, by the way. Wow, this is just what I needed. I'll put it right on the cake. But first, let's wet it a little. Otherwise, it won't stick well. Ah, now we can put it on top of our cake. Carefully press down so it doesn't ruin anything. It really looks like an M&M candy! <gasps> a huge one! Guys, shall we look inside? Sammy, are you ready? I'm more than ready! Well, let's cut it then! Guys, be extra careful with the knife. You better ask an adult to help you. Oh, a special cake requires special treatment. <laughs> this is a big moment! Here we go! Whoa! <gasps> Ha! 
Hi guys! Today we'll have a real cooking masterclass inspired by the manga's game. Is it gonna be a cake, Sue? Please tell me it's gonna be a cake! <laughs> You're right, Sammy. The coolest cake will be among us today. But first, we need to bake the cake layers. Sammy, could you heat the oven up to 175 degrees Celsius? Sure, Susie! Always be careful with the hot oven, guys. In the meantime, we add flour and some cocoa powder. This way. Guys, I really want to prank Sam today, so hush, don't give out my secret. What did you just say, Susie? Oh, I was just asking our viewers to give this video a thumbs up. Right. So what are you doing, Chef Sue? Well, I combined all dry ingredients, and now I'm sifting them to enrich the batter. This way it will have airy texture. There we go! I decided to make a red velvet cake, shaped like a crewmate. Or an imposter. Who knows? <laughs> And we're gonna need this as a reference. Cool idea, Sammy. <laughs> Let's continue. Next come room temperature butter and sugar. Now let's whisk them with a mixer. There we go. Guys, be very careful and ask an adult to help you with the mixer. Now we add one egg and beat it in the mixture until it's well combined. So, this is all the buttermilk we have. Will it be enough? Perfect timing, Sammy. And yes, that'll be just enough. I'm a bit tired of the mixer. Let's use some culinary magic to make everything happen. Voila! And now we'll combine wet and dry mixtures. Ta-da! Hmm, I wonder why this is called red velvet. It's more like a brown one to me. Ah, got it! Okay, the batter's done. We also added vanilla extract, and now... Ah, oh, it smells so good. I actually did one more round of batter. We're gonna need a lot of it for our cake. Now we only need to bake it in molds for 40 minutes in a preheated oven. <laughs> I'll go play the Among Us while waiting. Our cake layers are ready. Oh, I can't wait to taste them. Come on, Sue! Let's cut the imposter out of them and eat him! Not so fast, Sammy. We'll need this to cut the pieces of the right size. Don't rush, and you'll succeed. But these circles are pretty small! I thought the cake was going to be epic! And it will be! We'll need these circles to make our guy's legs. There! Now we can build our cake. But Sue, what will hold these little pieces of the cake together? Concrete? Of course not! <gasps> I forgot about the frosting! Ha! But I didn't! You're a lifesaver! Or better, the cake savior! I won't argue about that! Thumbs up to me and my resourcefulness! Ha ha ha! By the way, Sam, the frosting's perfect! Well done! The best ever vanilla buttercream frosting for the best ever red velvet Among Us cake! There. Perfect. Now we place the cake layers on top of each other to get towers like this. Uh, how much longer? Still, Sue, why exactly they call it red velvet? I think it's because of the cake's color and texture. I know the earliest recipe was published back in 1871. Whoa! What an ancient cake! <laughs> Sammy. Let's insert these through the whole cake column. Like this, to make sure that nothing falls apart. Here comes the last skewer. Hop! Okay, guys, this part's ready. We're gonna need one more exactly like that. Ta-da! Let's let the ganache freeze. Sammy, could you take these to the fridge? In the meantime, I will proceed. We need to make one more red velvet tower, but this time a bigger one. Carefully. Remember not to rush, guys. Susie, I'll take these to freezer and chill a bit myself. I really want a milkshake. Sure, Sammy. Take your time. Hop. Guys, now it's a perfect opportunity for my little prank. Remember I told you? Let's make a hole right here in the middle. Like this. And now we put this bone inside. 
It's made of fondant, which is, I bet, very tasty. Now we need to pull all the other layers up here so that Sammy won't notice my little surprise. <laughs> These two are ready. But Sue, I still can't figure out why we need these three cakes. Are we going to make a whole space station? Give me just a few more seconds. We need to make this cake look more roundish. Be very careful with the knife, guys. Actually, you'd better ask an adult to help. There we go. And done. Hmm, let's see. This looks like the body of the Among Us crewmate. And these looks like his legs. <gasps> Shiver me chatters! I got it! I finally got it! Hail the great Tibidaba! Now you can help me! Easy peasy! Watch me! La 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 <clears throat> Ta da! Good job, Sammy. Now we can put all three parts together. And here's what we got! Looks not bad, right? Yet the most beautiful part is left. Decoration! We'll need lots of colorful fondant for it. Susie, can you tell me more about the red velvet cake? I know that it's tasty and looks really beautiful and has a cool name. And that's it! Well, I also don't know much about it. Once I read a legend about how its recipe had become popular. Wanna hear it? Ooh, I like legends! Spill it out! <laughs> So, a long time ago, one really rich lady was dining at a restaurant. She had this cake as a dessert. By the way, guys, be careful with the knife. She liked the cake so much that she asked for the recipe. The rich lady got one, along with the bill for an impressive amount of money. <laughs> what happened then? That pissed her off. She paid. But then she blew the recipe out to the whole city to take her revenge. She must have been really impressed by that cake. I wish I was that rich to buy any recipe for any cake. <laughs> Sweet tooth, Sam. Anyway, that's just a legend. And we should speed up if you want to taste our cake today. The spacesuit of our cake guy is almost ready. We only need to make a mask. We'll use the blue fondant for that. Carefully cut out the shape, like this. Be careful not to cut yourself. Let's put it in the place right away. I think I know what we're missing! Here's a little trick, guys. <laughs> Looks perfect! Sue, check out what I made! Ugh. Wow! Sammy, you're a genius! I can do it myself! Mission complete! Now we can have a good look at the cake. Don't miss a thing, guys! The cake will be gone in a mere second! <laughs> Oh, what a heavy cake indeed! It doesn't matter, Sue! Come on, let's finally taste it! Okay, Sammy, here we go. Guys, I strongly advise you to ask an adult to help you cut the cake. Susie, I feel a bit awkward about it. Why? I mean, it's like we are the imposters! <laughs> You're right! One, two, three! Sammy, you've been praying! Holy cannoli, Sue! Is it edible? Sure it is, Sammy! Come on, dig in! Nah, spoons are for losers! Mm, mm, didn't think that being an imposter was so tasty! <laughs> Guys, if you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends. I promise we'll keep amazing you with new crafts. So stay tuned! See you soon! Bye! Bye, guys! It's cake time! Sue, I mean it, how are we gonna eat the whole thing?